Hello guys, welcome back. GPT engineer repository in GitHub has been trending for some days now. And as you can see, just today there are 3160 stars, right? In this video, what I'm going to go through this repository, follow each and every step here. But instead of using GPT-4, I'm going to use the GPT-3.5 Turbo. As you can see here, it says that it is using GPT-4, right? But most of us don't have access to GPT-4 let's see how the result will be let's get started before going and implementing what you need to know is why is this trending right as you can see here it says specify what you want to build and the ai ask for clarifications and then builds it right if you remember we had this auto gpt or now it's still there is but when it was in the initial steps it also went rapidly and it was training in github for many weeks right because that was also what we give some instruction and it performs things as name suggests auto gpt it goes automatically right so here the good part is it even asks for some clarifications i'm going to use the github code space because i noticed that some of you use mac os someone use linux and some of you use windows right so in order to avoid the conflict in setting up the environment i'm going to use github code space and you can also follow along with me if i go to this code icon here and then I need to go to the GitHub code space. If you follow locally, please follow these steps. But I will go to GitHub code space and create a code space on main, meaning that on the main branch, right? When this is spinning up a environment for us, let's go and see what are the steps that it needs to follow, right? So first, the setup step is git clone. So you need to clone this if you are doing this locally and you need to go inside the gpt engineer and the pip install dash e dot we need to install the necessary packages right but before installing please remember to create a virtual environment let me go to my github code space okay now it is being okay it is still setting up here the environment as you can see here there is this python 3.10.8 and all the things are being installed for me automatically i don't need to do anything here right now running everything okay now it is set up here so what i can do create the virtual environment i'm going to show you using the python 3 right you can type python 3 m b e n v meaning that we are going to create a virtual environment and give any name you want so i will be giving gpt right so when i run this command there is the GPT folder being created here, meaning that that is our virtual environment. And now we need to activate that virtual environment. To activate, we can type source GPT. And if you type bin activate, now the virtual environment is being activated, right? What is the next step we need to run? We need to install all the necessary things, right? Let me copy this. Go back to the GitHub code space and control V. Okay, I allow this and now I can run enter. It is going to install all the necessary dependencies. So what is the next step we need to do is we need to get the API key that has GPT-4 access. So this is what I was saying you before also. Many of us don't have GPT-4. I even don't have GPT-4. So I'm going to use the GPT-3.5 and let's see how it performs, right? You can go to... Uh, platform.openai.com to get the api keys i am going to grab the api keys by the way i will provide the link in the description if you don't have the link already now i need to export the open ai api key in the terminal right so now all the dependencies has been installed so what i can do let me make a little bit bigger yeah and let me even make this here so what i can do here clear export and I need to provide open AI API key equals to and I have copied the things by the way I'm just showing you here because I'm going to revoke this once I finish creating this video right now the open AI API key is being provided what is the next step we need to do we are in the setup stage right so we did until here this part and now the run so create an empty folder if inside the repo you can run this so you can see here we can run this example right Control c i am inside the repo so here we are inside the repo i can just paste this let's just say my new repo no problem right if i run this if you noticed here inside the projects 
here there is a new project being created this is the default one that is being provided and this is the new that we just uh, created here right so let me make this minimize this let's go back to the instruction here it says fill in the main prompt file in your new folder and then we can just run this so that is all we need to do so we need to fill the main prompt right so here if you go here in the example there is this main prompt so let me make this smaller here it says we are writing snake in python mbc components split in separate files keyboard control so that is the instruction like right? one prompt that is being provided by default but let's not go through this one as this channel is data science related channel so what we will be doing in this particular tutorial is going through the data science things right so here i am providing the one prompt so this is where you you can provide whatever prompt you want right so here i'm saying we are going to implement our machine learning model using python and logistic regression this is just a random project that i'm going to do here and i have already uploaded the data here as you can see in the data folder there is titanic.csv and i'm providing this path here and we are we are asking the model or telling the model to use the mse and r2 to evaluate the model as well as create the code as you progress and save it in a file right so yeah this is all the things that you can mention here and the next thing that we can do is just go to this particular thing and copy this run command so i can just copy this Control c go back to the terminal here let me make this little bit bigger right and by the way one thing that you need to be careful is you need to be in the root folder so the root folder is gpt engineer right so and then you can just paste the thing here let's run the enter so as i run the enter as you noticed here it there is the folder called memory and work space being created so we want the file to be stored in work space this is what it is also mentioned in the documentation check the generated files in the projects my new project and work space right so if you go here there is these projects there is my new project and there is the work space so when we run this command it says here that gpt4 is not used right yeah we don't use because i am using gpt 3.5 turbo and i have already provided the api keys if you want to have the gpt4 access you can go to this particular link and sign up right so here is some of the clarifications that is being needed for the model so this is the good part what is the target variable for the logistic regression model what is the purpose of using MSE and R2 for evaluating a logistic regression model, right? What should be the name of the file where the code will be saved? So these are all the things that the model asks the clarification, right? We don't need to provide the clarification most mostly in this particular demo. I'm not going through all the details, but let's provide the target variable. As you can see here in the data, let me go to the data and Titanic CSV, right? so if you haven't worked before the survived column is the one uh, that is the target variable right what we can provide here is the target variable is survived column right survived column and okay we don't need to provide what is the purpose of using mse and r2 but what should be the name of the file where the code will be saved we don't need to even provide this let me just use this one and run enter right so here is it says again some another thing here what is the purpose of using mse and r2 for evaluating a logistic regression model we can provide something here but i'm just providing c to move on i'll type here c and enter here now it is going to provide the code for us so as you can see here it says okay there is the logistic regression model and evaluate model right so this is the documentation kind of things is also provided here in this thing or class that represents the logistic regression model it will have methods for training the model and making the predictions and evaluate model is a function that takes in the trained model and the test data and returns the mean square error and r squared scores for the model's prediction right and after that the entry point files there is this main.py so it is creating the code for us 
and as you can see here there are different functions being provided so there is this load data from function being created there is pre-processed data there is train model and all the things are mentioned here and here it is also saying all the things what the particular uh, functions are doing right if you scroll a little bit down there is this file name logistic regression model file there is logistic regression model.py file now being created and the code is being provided here there is evaluation.py being provided and down here it says to install the dependencies okay it even went and say that okay you need to install the packages for us there is pandas and psychic loan so to run the code base we need to use python main.py do you want to execute this code okay it it even ask us if it wants to execute the code right yeah we can say yes but before that let us check if the files are being created or not right if you go to this org space folder and if you expand this here are all the files being provided as you can see here there is evaluation.py there is logistic regression so if you go here there is logistic regression models.py here all the things are here there is evaluation.py all the code is being written here and there is main.py and all the code is written here and there is even the readme file being created and all the things the documentation is also being already provided here what we can say here is let's type yes what it does right it should install the necessary packages for us okay so it says that okay it installed the necessary things because i have already uh, installed these things in this particular folder before so it says requirement already satisfied right and note if it does not work as expected please consider running the code in another way than before yeah we can run that it seems that there is some error here so what is the error here it says could not convert a string to float okay just by going through the error also it seems there is this pre-processing error right so you can just navigate to through the files so maybe in the main.py okay there is this pre-processed data right so it is doing what is doing here it is dropping some of the columns and then okay x there is dropping it survived yet it should do this and the y is survived and then it is passing to the train uh, training part here okay so it seems that categorical features are not being processed here so what you need to do here is because this uh, string uh, to float mail meaning that this is the sex column if you go to this data there is this sex column which is the object right it has a male and female so you need to convert that to float or integer right so yeah that is the error here what you can do is go to this pre-processing function and then you can just implement the categorical feature you can just use one hot encoding or label encoder or something like that and it should run properly after you do some modifications what you need to do is go to this org space folder right in the beginning when we run the command we are in the root folder so you need to go inside the projects my new project org space and then you need to run the main dot pi file so it's a main dot pi right it will show the same error now as it shows before so you get the idea in the beginning the model was doing the task for us from the root directory but once you uh, go here and modify something you need to be in this particular folder right this is not that big of a issue here you can just go here and modify what is the issue here and then run the model and improve the model if necessary or use other different kind of models as you progress because now we are using the logistic regression here right so you can go next step you can go here and use maybe maybe random forest or even use XGBoost and see how the model performs and so on okay i hope you learned something new today and always refer to this official github uh, repository and there are all the other different things also called features and how you can contribute to this project right and also there are some issues already here there are some pull requests so it is being updated constantly similar to what other different repo also does right so always go to the issues tab when you have some issues or even write in the comment section of this video if you face some issues yeah that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video